Hello, 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 internet. My name's Sunny, and I made a new channel. I have another channel that I've been trying to make a, a, a serious YouTube channel for years. And I am doing this because I have come across this phenomenon in America today, and even overseas, just in Western civilizations, that blows my mind. I have never known about this except for one little group called Black Lives Matter. I've been aware of that because, you know, I am black. And uh, these other things, like, I, I never knew this was a real thing. I saw, I've seen, I've saw, I've seen isolated incidents and I just thought they were idiots. Uh, these uh, instant incidences that have, um, they have a name called social justice warriors and feminists I just <laughs> when I first saw like an isolated incident about social justice I can't even recall the issue that she was mad about I can't I just know I was like, what a stupid thing to be angry about. I can't even remember what it was. I just blocked it from my mind. Like, I can't remember at all. I've come across another, it was about, it was about two weeks ago. I saw this compilation of people getting owned or pwned, whatever you want to call it. And like, I saw it and it was very enjoyable. I, <laughs> I liked it very much and I'm like, who are these people? And then I looked at the the title of it. It says SJW's Getting Owned Compilation Number 14 or whatever like that. I'm like, whatever. And so I'm like, what is SJW? So I'm like, go on the internet of the social justice warriors. Hmm. Let me just look this up. And I'm like, and all I see is foolishness. Foolishness, foolishness, just all around foolishness. And I'm like, who and why, when, where, why is social justice a thing? We're in the current year and <laughs> we are living in a place where I can get a job. I can sit in the front of the bus. I can walk into a grocery store and buy food without even thinking. And I can, you know, go to a concert and not be harassed. I can go to the club and, you know, not be questioned about my skin color. And I am a woman. I am not being oppressed in any way. I am a black female. I have it good. There are scholarships for me. There is just like, I mean, the world is at my disposal, basically. Like, I have all the advantages. I do. I'm not gonna deny that I don't. I am not being oppressed. Yes, sometimes I get followed in the mall. You know what that is? It's annoying. It's not an issue. You know why I get followed in the mall sometimes? It's because the, probably the bulk of their theft comes from black people. Now that's something that we got fixed. So if you don't want to be followed in the mall, stop stealing, okay? I come across these videos and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm like, okay, well, I've had enough fun. Now I've got to see the other side of the coin, so I'm looking up feminist issues and feminist videos, and I see a bunch of them. And daggum, if I just did not have my brain ooze out of my ears, and then go to the back of my throat, and then I have to cough it up, it, it, I cannot believe some of the rhetoric that feminists these, I guess what you call third wave feminists are saying just because you have a penis doesn't mean you're a male just because you have periods doesn't mean you're a female just because this is you all know, I want my pronouns used it's offensive that you call me she I want to be called Zer. like wait stop stop with that stop with that foolishness right now who came up with this whole gender 
non-binary, gender fluid, all these different terms that just came to be out of thin air. Where did these words come from? What the heck is non-binary? Nothing. There's two. Male. Female. That's it. This gender fluid, non-binary, uh, unicorn, blood, and bear fur. No. Stop it. Right now. And you know, I, I mean, what is, what, is, what is the goal of this whole, I'm not the gender I was born with, that's just a social construct? Nah. Nah. That's science. And for some, you know, for liberals to be so obsessed with science, you know, oh, that's science, and you know, they always think that Christian conservatives like myself are against science. But when I actually use it, they deny it. So, how does that even work? And then uh, the social justice issues that I keep seeing, um, especially this whole safe space argument that, you know, this group deserves a safe space and this group deserves a space, safe space. You know what safe spaces do? They deny rights. Plain and simple. So, and it's very racist, by the way. Like, you don't want a safe space for white men. What? Why? If you want a safe space and you want equality, then you would want a safe space for everyone. Am I right? I mean, I mean, am I crazy for just thinking that? So I was just, you know, this, like I said, this is brand new to me. Two weeks I've been dealing with this. Like I have been nonstop doing research about social justice warriors and feminism and all of these patriarchy. I don't get it. I mean, I get it because whenever I first learned about it, you know, I tried to see two two sides of the coin, basically. So I was watching all of these anti-social justice, anti-feminism, anti-Black Lives Matter, you know, videos and I was like, ha ha ha, you know, they're funny. So I'm like, wait a minute, let me just slow down and let me look at the other side. So I looked at the videos, I read some of the rhetoric and, you know, I can see where they're coming from. I really do, I can see where they're coming from, but you, my ladies, cannot live in the past. We are past the point that women are oppressed. We are past the point that racism is not a major issue. I mean, there is racism still, of course, but it's isolated. It's not institutionalized, as you say. There is not a school that I could find where they teach racism. There is not an institution that I know of in America unless it's deep, deep, deep underground and is not known to the public where they teach racism outright. If you can find one, please let me know. And then we will work together to shut them down. I will be on your side for that one moment. And when it's shut down, I'm going to go back in my corner. You go back in yours because I don't want to be with you. So you heard me say Black Lives Matter. And you probably thinking, you know what, Sonny? You're black. You might be for Black Lives Matter. And I was at the beginning, whenever it first came out. I was like, yes, honey, I love this. And these incidents where police are killing unarmed black citizens for no reason, it seems. And even though there's a little bit of non-compliance, it doesn't mean they need to be shot. Let's all be real here. I mean, sometimes you get scared. And you going, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna resist a little. That don't mean you need to be shot. But when I see all the crime that happens in Chicago, and you are silent, how am I supposed to take you seriously? If you say Black Lives Matter, then you mean all Black Lives Matter, even the ones that are shot by Black people. And if you don't care, then just change your name to Black Lives Matter who are shot by cops, white cops. That change your name. We're mad about black people getting shot by cops. Not just any cops, just white cops. That's a long title. You can work on that later. But until you care about those people being shot in Chicago, especially by black people, then you can't have a name called Black Lives Matter because you don't really care, do you? Because every time I hear it mentioned, you, you, you 
swerve around a subject and you don't want to answer. That made no sense to me. So, in short, this is my new channel. I will be talking about these issues. I will be talking about it from a black female conservative Christian perspective. And um, I just, I honestly have been wanting to do something like this for a long time and I think it's now the time because of people like social justice warriors, like feminists, and like those people from Black Lives Matter. I want to make a difference for people, the people who need it most. And to me, whenever I see it, the people that need it most is still black people because they're still getting shot by other black people. And I think men need it most. Women are catered to. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have been bailed out by just some random guy. I'm like, oh man, I forgot my wallet. I got you, girl. Thank you, random guy. Oh, my car doesn't work. I forgot my PIN number. Oh, I'll take care of that for you. Thank you, random guy. Literally happened yesterday. I couldn't remember my debit card PIN number because I just got a new bank account and some random white guy paid for my Coke and my two packs of gum. Very sweet. And I have been that has happened to me on multiple 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 occasions where I would mess up and a guy who I didn't even know who was a stranger to me helped me. I've had my car jumped, I've had my uh, tire changed, a guy changed my tire and he was like some 18 year old kid. So I'm not oppressed, I have it made. The people who need our help are men. They do. They just do. And you know it. Everyone knows it. Especially the men. So I want to help them. And I want to help women too. I want to help children. I want to help people who are hungry. No one should go hungry. I just want to help everyone. I really do. If you're a person and you need help, I want to help you. But this channel it's just an outlet for me. I want to talk about those issues, but my dream of helping people um, will have to stay on hold for now. I guess I can help through this channel, whatever the case may be. I'm rambling. So thank you for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz, whatever. Hope you have a great day and I will go do the same. Bye guys. This is my boo boo baby. Here's your little treat. Yes, you do. <laughs> this is me. See, I bought her this little thing. Look at your lights up. You can do this. Is your precious? Is your precious? Okay, you can get down. She hates me.